Welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to be building a little entertainment bench for an uh, old woodworking buddy of mine lives up in Salt Lake. He wanted a 14-inch um, slab cut, so I went to the mill. We cut this slab right here. We'll be uh, cutting all the parts and pieces out of it. We're going to go 48 inches across. We're going to have a shelf. He wants it 20 inches tall. I'm going to rip the legs down out of the same material. I'll go 12 inches wide on the legs and the shelf. It's got a vent, so we've got to have some room for it to breathe underneath that. So it's basically a, a bench, but he's going to use it as a TV stand. He got a big, big screen TV for Christmas. I'm going to put a little backsplash lip on the back of it, just so the TV doesn't slide off the backside. That's what he wanted. I'll start uh, cutting her up and uh, show you the process as we go. He wanted some live edge. I'm gonna shave that a little bit more and make him kind of a false live edge. Cut my legs next. I'm 20 inches high. I'm two and a half inches thick, so I need to cut these at 17 and a half. Okay, I've got my legs cut, my top, and my shelf right here. I'm going to rip the legs down to 14 inch, 12 inches, because uh, we're 14 wide now. I'm going to want to do a little recess on these legs so that it can sit level in case this floor is on level. So I'm just going to make a V right here. I like that. So I'll cut that notch out. That. Just do another one like the other one. good if I route the edges on these. We'll go over here to the router. Here's a bad cage been distressing and had to brand it. It's got the rancher's brands on it. That's an early American stain. I'm gonna go ahead and route the whole perimeter front and back just to clean it up and make it look good. There's the first one. Got all the edges softened, bull nosed them. Still need to do a little sanding on it, but there's your leg. We're gonna go ahead and repeat it with number two. There we go. Got us some legs. Now I'll get them sanded. I'll probably want to route the shelf as well, just to soften it up. The top, I'm going to route the ends, but he wanted a live edge, so I'm going to kind of, I'm going to keep the live edge. I 
I got all my parts and pieces sanded. Now we're going to enhance this live edge right here. Take a draw knife and uh, clean that up. We'll do a little bit of spray paint and then you just lightly sand it and it makes it look like a natural edge. So. so what I'm doing is basically just cleaning this up. That's been broke there so I'll shave that down to just flow with that. Then we'll spray it, lightly sand it, and it's going to look like a natural live edge on it. Here, come draw that right there. Take that break off. Yeah, that looks good. Thank you. So I've got a mixture of black and brown on there. We'll let that dry and then I'll hit it with a palm sander and kind of show you how I can make that look like a natural live edge. Okay, I've got this uh, top for this little entertainment done. The paint is dried. I'm going to sand on it now and, and see how well I can make that look like a natural live edge. I've done it before and it looks pretty good. Uh, we'll give her a whirl, see what she looks like. Actually, I'm going to take the belt sander, get all the overspray off, and I think it's going to look pretty dang good. It's going to look a lot like a natural live edge. made my legs an inch narrower than my top. Actually, I made my legs two inches narrower. So I'm going to have a one inch reveal front and back. And then I made my shelf one inch narrower than my legs. So we have a half inch reveal on there. But I think I'm going to go route this shelf. Yeah, I'm going to go route my shelf before I start attaching stuff. Got a little overspray there I need to sand off. Getting ready to lag my legs to my shelf and then I'll put my top on my leg system. I'm gonna go ahead and countersink this. There is my first leg. This little tool right here, I actually made this. You drill a 3 8 hole, and then I put a 3 a 3 8 pilot inside of a 1 inch bit, and it just follows the 3 8 hole, drills a perfect hole centered every time, and then I glue a 1 inch plug in there, something that I invented. Let's go ahead and get this other one done. I'm going to have a 12 inch gap from the top of my shelf to the bottom of the top. So I've got a couple of 12 inch blocks. I'm going to set them right on there. That's going to hold my shelf in place while I lag it on. Put a little bit of glue on here. I'm using a uh, Ollie lag. You use these to put log homes together with. They're high tensile and it's more than enough to hold that thing together. There she is from the back. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Okay, there you go. 
That uh, live edge looks pretty dang good. Looks natural. Now I've just got to put a little drip edge on the back. I've got some one by over here I think I'm going to use. I'll attach that to the back right there. Well, I got her done. Built his specifications. Put these plugs in. That's the finishing touch. We'll zip them off. I use this uh, little DeWalt cutter right here. A little dull. <laughs> Cut those off flush, hit it with a sander, and it'll be ready for lacquer. Hope you enjoyed the video. Got lots more projects uh, in the works. Join us. Uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you next time. Oh, wow, it's perfect, isn't it? That's awesome. What do you think? Is that what you envisioned it would be like? Exactly. Exactly. Don't you love the edges? Yes. That's a pretty, that's a pretty piece. But it fits perfect. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's awesome. Away you go.